Hey, star people, I'm here to give a shout out about a beautiful constellation that always returns to the eastern sky before dawn every late July and early August. Okay, I know you're saying to yourself, I've never recognized a single constellation, but I bet you can see this one. It's the mighty constellation Orion the Hunter, and it's very easy to see at this time of year. You'll see, you see the hunter behind me here. Um, it's a super noticeable pattern. And to see it, look to the east, just as darkness is beginning to give way to morning dawn. But the question is when? In early summer, Orion is traveling across the sky with the sun during the day. But then at this time of year, late July and early August, Orion returns. And really the sky you're seeing behind me here is almost a little too bright for it. Although you might catch Orion coming out of a dawn like this if you hit it just right. It'll be a little bit different timing for all of you at your different latitudes. So start watching now. Orion stars are bright. The constellation has been called the ghost of the shimmering summer dawn from a poem by Sophia C. Prentice published in the magazine Popular Astronomy in the year 1924. So that's why we say to look for Orion uh, beginning around now, late July or early August, just as dawn is beginning to break. And here's the main thing you'll notice. Orion the hunter rises on his side with his three belt stars pointing straight up. These stars are called Mentaka, Alnatak, and Alnalam. All three of these belt stars are blue supergiants. They're much larger, more massive, and much brighter than our sun. They're a beautiful sight and one you can look forward to rising out of the dawn every year around this time. And by the way, these stars are giants in our Milky Way galaxy's spiral our Milky Way galaxy's Orion arm, sometimes called the Orion Spur, named for the constellation Orion. And this is the same spiral arm of the galaxy that contains our sun. And then in addition to the stars in Orion's belt, you'll want to know two more stars, the two brightest stars in Orion, Betelgeuse and Rigel. They're very noticeable on either side of the belt stars. Rigel represents Orion's left foot and Betelgeuse represents his right shoulder. These two stars are noticeably different colors. Rigel is blue and Betelgeuse is a somber red. Blue White Rigel is another blue supergiant star, a massive, hot, young star, much like the belt stars. Betelgeuse is different though. Here, uh, you're seeing it in the far infrared uh, from the European Space Agency's Herschel Space Observatory. Betelgeuse is a more evolved star. It's a red supergiant that'll explode someday soon. And by soon, I mean any time between tonight and 100,000 years from now. So this image shows the red supergiant star Betelgeuse sloughing off shells of material as it moves through interstellar space. And you can notice that red color of Betelgeuse if you look for it in the sky. And by the way, a few days ago, I interviewed astronomer Stephen Howell of NASA Ames Research Center about a newly discovered companion star for Betelgeuse. And there are so many interesting things about this story. So watch for that interview. We'll put a link in the post notes. And also know that Betelgeuse is uh, like those other stars located in the same spiral arm of the galaxy as our sun, uh, same as Rigel, same as the stars in Orion's belt. We're all in the Orion arm. And know that when you look toward the constellation Orion, ascending in the east before sunrise at this time of year, you're really seeing several big, hot, 
young blue stars and a big evolved red star, all giants in our own spiral arm. And I have just two more things to tell you. First, our friend and community member Mei Ying Li in Taiwan captured this image last year around the same time. And she said she caught Orion before dawn from a mountaintop, 2,000 meters up. See the shape of Orion in the lower right of this image? Uh, the bright star in this image isn't really a star. It's the planet Jupiter. And Mars is also here together with, as Mei Ying said, many flying artificial satellites and a whizzing meteor. They've painted this bright and beautiful starry sky. And she also pointed out that the beam of light that's shining diagonally here upwards from the east toward Jupiter and Mars isn't the true dawn. It's what's called the false dawn or zodiacal light, sunlight, shining on dust grains, moving in the plane of our solar system. And we'll be talking more about the false dawn uh, soon on an Earth Sky live stream. So thank you, Mei Ying. And now a reminder, the best of all, the two brightest planets, Venus and Jupiter, they're both in the pre-dawn sky now, uh, late July and August, 2025. You can see them anytime now. I just saw Jupiter return this week and I live in a light polluted city. These two planets will be located to the left of Orion as you stand facing east before dawn. Uh, Orion is bright, but Venus and Jupiter are much brighter. They outshine all the stars. And here they are in about the first week of August and do start watching them now because these two are going to get closer and closer and closer. And their conjunction, when they'll be closest in the sky, will come on August the 12th. We'll be talking about that too in a future stream. We are Earth Sky. I'm Deborah Bird. We're here live every weekday. On Monday, we'll be talking about 3i Atlas, the third known interstellar visitor to our solar system just discovered this month. It's traveled here from another star. We can't see it very well yet, but astronomers are asking, could this object be an alien probe? That's Monday. Hope you'll join us then. One Earth, one sky, Earth sky.